Zero. And a vertex at zero, neg three. And then we have the focus at zero, neg. All right, so let's do a rough sketch of this. Hey, this is us doing a ellipse? Uh, uh, hyperbola. We're finding the equation for a hyperbola. What's the, uh, what's our major axis here, x or y? Y. Why? Because the vertex is going to be on your major axis. And so the foci are on the major axis. Wait, why? And the foci are on the major axis. Zero, zero. That's given information? They give it that in the problem but itself. the vertices? Yeah, so the center is here. Those are the vertices. Uh, no, this is the foci. So one foci, or one, uh, is it zero negative square root of 13? Uh, you know, a little shy of, or a little over three. So there and there. So those are the coordinates for your foci. You're not really going to use your foci to graph it, though. So what we need to know is what's our minor axis? The x axis. Because we need to draw the asymptote so that we can get a good graph. The minor axis is going to be the x axis. What's our formula? Oh, b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared? Um, no, it's, it's just the Pythagorean theorem, um, so in this case. Why? Isn't it still minus then? Not for hyperbola. Our equation will be, uh, you know, something minus something else. So we have square root of 13 is our value for c. Squared is equal to? Wouldn't that just be 13? 3 squared, yep, plus b squared. So 13 is equal to 9 plus b squared. So b squared is equal to uh, 4. b is plus or minus 2. All right, so we'll just say b is equal to 2 since we're dealing with distance. So 1, 2, 1, 2. So we draw our rectangle so that we can, you know, get our nice and neat asymptotes. So those are our asymptotes. And then the graph is going to get very, very close to the asymptotes, but never actually touch them. Um, and if we wanted to find the equations for our asymptotes, we just find the equation of a line. The center is 0, 0, so that makes uh, the y-intercept easy. It's just 0. So y is equal to rise over run, so 3 over 2 x. And then we have our negative slope, y is equal to negative 3 over 2 x, if you're looking for the asymptotes. How do you know, like, like what do you tell us is hyperbola? All right, so the equation then is the minor axis comes, or the major axis comes first, which is the y axis. So we have y squared over 3 squared minus x squared over 2 squared is equal to 1. So there's our equation.